We're live on the Facebook Live. The question is, is there anybody alive out there? <laughs> so blessings, everyone. People may start appearing and this is a, a drop in to uh, answer any questions. A few beings have sent me some messages asking about naked and naked. The word naked, just the very word itself can be very scary, right? What does that mean? It's an algorithm nightmare out there. So let's see. If you have any questions, pop them in here. If you're watching this on the replay, then you can still write the questions in the comments. And I will catch them up at some point. Ah. Hush. Mm. Naked. Where to begin? Well, first of all, Maybe it's good to let, let you know if this is the first time you're seeing me or the first time you're hearing about Naked, then it may be great to let you know that Naked was uh, originated way back in 2014. So that's when it birthed and it birthed with myself and my ex-partner Dara. And then over a seven year period, we were sharing this beautiful uh, playground of transformation is space to uh, just live our naked truth. And it really birthed from the innocent, playful desire to share how we were living. So we we're living very naked in our expression, nude in our flesh and uh, practicing certain um, ways of life. You know, healthy eating and or healthy eating in the way that we perceived healthy eating to be. Uh, sharing circles, dance, movement, yoga. And it was really a, a little culmination to just meet more beings that wanted to do that. So that's, that's really how it birthed. And I had been uh, doing these circles with smaller groups called transparency circles. And they were so beautiful, sometimes five, sometimes eight beings showing up in this little shop, <laughs> little shop at the back of this little shop in Malta. And they were really enriching and just highlighting to me again the, the simplicity of just having a space with like-hearted beings who are willing to speak their truth. And that's really what naked is. Naked is naked truth. Like what's really going on? How truthful can we be in this moment? What do we really know? What, what are we hiding and disguising and masquerading and, and, and covering up because it's too uh, frightening to reveal ourselves? And so naked is that place, that space for you to come and, and just let that go, you know? Just be okay and be, be held and seen and embraced in all that you are, in all your messiness, in all the stories, the, whether they be false or whatever, just you, naked, here I am, this is me. So that's really, yeah, that's really like keeping it simple. For example, today, um, some of you may have heard of a, a, a man called Richard Rudd and the Gene Keys. And if you haven't, it's a phenomenal wise being that I'm deeply inspired by. And today I was listening to the 10th Gene Key on the audio. And I woke up and I was like, something was calling me to, this, uh, to the Gene Keys today. So what, what, what would be my morning practice? I did some writing and I was like, hmm. And then I got a little distracted and then it pulled me to this 
tenth gene key, yeah? And in the tenth gene key, the essence of what I took away was, um, we can go on this path, you know, this so-called spiritual path, and the sp spiritual people, if you want to term, term them that, there's a bit of a generalization, can become very serious. And life itself can become very serious. And really, it's a lot more simple and easier than we make it. Um, so, so that gene key was highlighting to me again that if it's easy, it's true. If it's easy, it's best. Like flow with the ease. And so today, if I, if I weave that in and think, ah, oh, here I am, I'm, I'm doing this live about naked. And, and I feel when we strip back or we, you know, some people don't like that word strip, right? It feels like, ah, oh, I've, I've got to like take something off. I've got to get rid of something. But really it's, these things fall away, right? They fall away when we allow all of who we are. So it's, so it's like a, it's a metaphorical stripping because the, these things that we're holding on to, they, they don't stick to us anymore because we've dropped back into our innocence, into our ease, into the, into the playfulness. Like when we were children, right? Playing is easy. <laughs> And then we get older and we like get all these concepts and ideas and it's like, it's so difficult to play. I do laughter practice. I just invite people to laugh. And do you know how difficult it is for people to laugh for one minute? Do you see the resistance that comes up? And it did for me, admittedly, in the beginning, <laughs> some years ago. But now it's like, just laugh. Let's just laugh together. It's like, at first it was like, no, no, no reason to laugh. Why would I laugh for no reason at all? Why? I've got nothing to laugh about. It's like, what? You're alive. You're breathing. It's like, you exist. It's like, my Lord, if that doesn't bring you joy, what will? If the very fact that you exist will not bring you joy, what will? <laughs> you know, it's like, for me, it's wild. So in Naked, what we do is we really just, you know, we, we, we get to face all of these parts of ourselves, no? that we fabricated and made up and we've got all these stories that justify who we are and these identifications and these, you know, these, in my experience, my stubbornness, no, my stubbornness that wants to hold on to some construct that I've created that defines who I am. And it's like, ah! <laughs> so naked is about just, wow, just observing all that. And then through, you know, facilitation and with a beautiful team of magnificent beings that I, I, I have bringing with me, I bring with me and I'm magnetized to this community, to this family, we come together to create a space. And, uh, and we use, of course, we use different techniques and tools and games and, and we go deep into uh, the human experience together in a brave space. And we uncover whatever needs to be uncovered and it's all welcome and we feel deeper connection and people, people feel a new sense of aliveness and, and potential. And they open up to aspects of themselves that they've, you know, covered up over the years and plastered on all this nonsense. Yeah. So if you've got any questions, please, like, pop them in the, the message. We have, I have a beautiful brother here watching, Gaia. He will be with us in the Sicily retreat. Uh, and uh, he joined a few naked retreats and now he's part of this whole you know we're we're like just it's not even about it's, it is a community but it's about sovereignty it's about freedom and what does that even really look like am i fully free am i fully sovereign of course i'm not I, but i'm intending to be through choices i make and the, the path that i walk and taking full responsibility for the nature of my experience and not being defined or caught into traps of old conditioned programs, chains of the past. Yeah, I'm sure many of you, even if you're clicking on here, you're resonating. But when I say, am I not fully sovereign? Of course I'm not. I'm, 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 you know, I'm caught in this system with all of you too. And it's not to blame the system and say the system's bad. The system is what it is. But it's a construct that's been created to keep us locked in 
you know, certain structures, paying tax and, you know, having to do certain things in, this, in the way we're told. We're still in what I call invisible prisons. And so we have to uncover and see those, what those in prison, in, invisible prisons are, how they're playing out and how identified we are to them. And just by awareness, you could even say that naked is like naked awareness. Like just with awareness, our, the umbilical cord that connects us to these false uh, dimensions, if you will, or these false systems or whatever you want, whatever term resonates with you most, that just, it drops away. There's spaciousness that comes, yeah? So that's really as well what naked is. It's like, it's like you know, like if I take this T-shirt off, there's space, no? There's more space, yeah? I've got more space. And, and, and if we move into that, like most people come and go, like, are you, are you, are you naked? Like, are you nude? Are people nude? <laughs> it's so good. I love seeing people's faces when they, like, you mean, you mean everyone is naked? And so, yeah, so I'd love to say that naked is as naked as you choose to be on this immersion. I, I kind of like, I call, it was called Naked the Retreat and the, the retreat part can sometimes be a bit misleading, right? Because yeah, we retreat from our current life, but it's not about a retreat really where you know, sometimes people go away on retreat and it, it's like, ah, oh, you know, and they just want to sunbathe all day, for example. That's, that can be a kind of holiday retreat, right? But this is a, this is a coming together of brave souls cultivating a, a lived community experience, a deep immersion, a, a deep connected experience of, of intimacy and sensuality and, and exploring the taboos of our, of our culture around sexuality, around false beliefs, around um, the way we perceive ourselves and others, the judgments, the expectations, the conditions that we plaster on ourselves and then project onto others. So we're really kind of more in this like naked incubator, this playground, I call it, of transformation. And then at the same time, dissolving even the idea that you are going to transform or change or that there's anything to do or to become or anywhere to get, yeah, or anything to succeed or any purpose to have, right? It's like, what is it if we keep peeling back, peeling back, peeling back? Peel back the layers, observe what's really happening and play, you know, playfulness for me is the, is really the key. Uh, you know, when that's why I call it a playground, but may, like we're here to play. You know, when we play with each other, when we truly play with each other and we realize that connection to our play again, then the way that we engage with life and with our relationships and our creativity and everything, it takes on a very, very different energy, a different frequency. So we're, we're showing up and we're, we're joyously participating in the divine ecstasy of creation. We're, we're, we're saying yes to life. And then we are the, the pioneers, if you will, or naked ears, I like to call us, the naked ears that are, you know, realizing how uh, powerful and impactful we can be just with our choices, thoughts and words and our actions and then how we're impacting the whole culture, how we're writing the story and we're being part of whatever story we choose because, you know, we, we take away power over to somebody else like, ah, oh, I'm like this because of my parents or I'm like this because of culture or society or I'm like, no, it's like we come back to our naked truth, our rawness, our, the truth of who we are and we go, no, wait there. He says, let me reboot. Let me reset. Ah, you heard the whole, yeah, the global reset. This is the naked reset. The naked reset. Reset yourself back to your naked nature. <laughs> and then you will own nothing. We well, don't need anything anyway. <laughs> so how are we doing out there? Let's see who's on. Is there any questions? Because I could just, you know, wax lyrical and tell you all more and more things about it. But this live today was, you know, half hour live. Um, I'm already speaking for uh, 16 minutes, no? Yes. So let's have some questions. Is there any questions? Uh, you're welcome to come on video if you want. 
And just let me know in the comments who we got here. We got, oh, we got Charlotte. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, Karen. Sean. Gaia. Robin, but you don't have a face. Robin, you're so naked that you don't even have a profile picture. And that's, that's like naked social media. <laughs> and who we got there? Rox. So is there anyone here? Tanya? Constanza? Constanza's here with me. She can ask questions. She will be uh, co-facilitating in Portugal. Gaia will be co-facilitating co and sharing his magic in Sicily. And we're going to be in... Um, August, we will be in Portugal, the 11th to the 20th of August. And then we will um, travel over to Sicily. And Sicily is amazing because it's actually a, a naked participant, it's called a naked deer, who now, and him and his partner, own this beautiful uh, retreat center. And we are hosting Naked there for the first time. So we will be doing Naked in the, uh, from the 8th until the 17th. Then we have a few days break and then we have the Naked Gathering happening on that land as well. And the Naked Gathering is, the, is like the, the next extended and, and let's say uh, deeper dive to go into um, the community experience. Where we even strip away even more stuff, you know, in terms of like facilitation and, and chefs and all that. You know, we, we co-create the space together. Yes, who wants to come on? Gaia, sorry. Press again if you want to come on. Uh, 11th to the 20th of August, yes. Thank you, love. Did you want to come on, Gaia? You look like you wanted to. Let's... Proof. Yeah, it says unable to. It says I can't add you. What's that about? Let's try again. Allow us to risk to join. Yes. Proof. Yay, brother. Ah. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, you made it. You Good. hear me? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, what I wanted to ask, actually, I do have a question, and this, um, how is this naked different from the ones before? Oh, that's a beautiful question. Well, so I don't know if the essence, I oh, disappeared. Oh, I continue. Anyway, I continue with the question. So, hopefully, you all heard that. So, Gaia asked, "How would these? How would this naked be different from the ones before?" Well, in essence, the the very fabric of naked. I don't know if the essence will be very different because the essence is an invitation to deeply, wholeheartedly love yourself and expand into the truth of who you are. So that's I feel going to still be the. Uh, the playground and the opportunity in many different variations of whoever comes for wherever they are to meet them where they are so they can take the next step that they need for their own evolution. So that will be the same. I think, of course, what's different is it was originally my ex-partner Dara and I as the kind of lead facilitators and we, we were doing everything. Um, and that was, you know, we would lead the groups and so on. So, of course, that's very different now because now it's me and I'm wanting to bring in a, a, a different model where I'm a lead facilitator and then I bring in co-facilitators. So I'm really bringing in a different flavor and fabric of other beautiful beings I've met along the way to bring their magic and their wisdom and their experience. And I feel that that's already the people that are coming. I can already feel a, a richness of a kind of um, a melting pot of, of co-creation that, I have no clue what it's actually going to be because one of the things I want to do is I want to, I have all these great tools and ideas and little pieces that worked in the past with Naked. And even when I'm reading testimonials now, I'm going, oh my God, this beings love this. They love this. They love this. And I'm like, well, and at the same time, 
I'm, I'm kind of coming into this naked and not wanting to, uh, you know, orchestrate it too much with even a fixed uh, things. However, there, there has to be some, you know, fixed navigation and the beings that are coming to join me, they're also wanting to bring, you know, their gifts. So, so I hope that answers the question. Um, one of the journeys that I've been on, I will say in the last sort of two and a half years, is that I've been diving also deeper into uh, sacred sexuality, temple culture. And so one of the things that um, I want to weave in more now with my body work and also some of the uh, rituals of exploring ourselves through our sensuality, our sexuality, and really the, the depth that we can uh, grow through self-pleasure this is definitely a theme that I will be, will, will be bringing more into because the, the path that I've you know, th continued with self-pleasure and now into really the, the, the liberation of our own sexual life force, and I, I would like to call that eros just for this, for this term, you know, just as a broad, it's a kind of maybe for some of you it's kind of a broad term, but eros being this, you know, this greater life force, the life force that permeates us and all beings is that for me, it's really about how do we activate that, but how do we use Eros as a way to really see ourselves and to dissolve the, uh, the identity of our little selves that are so often caught up in the, the taboos of our culture and the limitations of our, of our false beliefs. So we were doing that anyway, but there's definitely going to be a, you know, a, a new ways of, of, uh, of playing in this field. Yeah, who else is there? If you're just joining now, we just have another seven minutes. It's going to be a 30-minute uh, live today. And um, Gaia just came on and asked the question, how would the nakeds be different now with this naked 2.0 that's birthing? And if you have any questions, please pop them in or uh, ask to join. Uh, something else was popping up. to see if there's any, anyone joining in. Guy, thank you for the question. So, so if anybody's listening right now, if you're really engaged, if you have a question, just pop it in because you know, maybe you're curious. If you're listening to this, there's a curiosity, right? And that already is enough. If there's like a curiosity, follow that seed. And um, there's a couple of things that I want to share from my perspective. I was pondering like right now we're in such a, wild time though like what is happening what's just happened in the last three years you know this what just happened in 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 the, the covid era which is still kind of you know permeating behind the scenes where are we going what's happening with ai how are we truly claiming our sovereignty and so for me naked has always been about community it's about being regenerative humans. It's about how we become the humans that are going to birth a new civilization. So when we come together in these places, in physical, you know, touch, connection, we share our ideas, our skills, our resources. We create bonds, right? Bonds, yeah, um, of, of connection. And this connection is the co-creation of these new worlds, how I see it. So through permaculture, through, you know, temple culture, through all these new, uh, or not new, but uh, vibrant cultures that we can then infuse and focus our life force into so that we're basically really living what I love to call the more beautiful world our hearts know is possible. And, and me, Gaia, Constance, and many others that are, will be in this field are living this life. It's not just a, a concept, an idea, a theory, you know? We're walking the talk. So that's really what it's about. Yes, let's, there's a question. Beautiful. Hey, Lena, beautiful. Thank you for holding space for questions. So, yeah, I wonder if you could elaborate a bit more on how you invite people who are still shedding the layers of being shy to feel safe to get more naked. Ah, <laughs> beautiful question. Beautiful question. Mm. Okay, so the first thing that's popping up is I'm seeing lots of different age groups and the beings that have been 
on this journey with me the past seven years, you know, from 20 year old to 70 year olds. And what the beauty is, is what I said earlier is that really this is a space that you are welcomed exactly as you are. You are met exactly where you are. There is no, like this is this whole thing that people go about naked. If you came to Naked Retreat and you kept your clothes on or your top or your shorts or whatever you felt like keeping on the whole time because you didn't feel ready to take off your clothes, that's one part of it. And the reason why I say that part is most people are in, the, in my experience now, they come worrying about taking their clothes off. And then after about day two, they realize that taking their clothes off was the least of their worries, right? <laughs> you know, that's the least of their worries. But the idea of getting naked with our words, our thoughts, our feelings, and being seen, this is really where the, the sensitivity and the, and the, the you know, the, the slow, the slow progress, that's what we really need to take care of. So it's really about creating the safe, so I don't always use the word safe actually, but the brave space, the co-created space where we're held as a group. Like I'm not there as the, you know, the leader leading, we're there as a group, as an organism. And we're going in this together on this beautiful, you know, journey into the void, into the unknown. Yeah, there's guidance and there's, you know, tools of making sure that everybody feels very, very um, in their yes or in their no. So we really work with consent. You know, the first few days are really normally in our, in our own container, you know, working on ourselves, working on our emotions, lots of connection and, and opportunities to really just soften the nervous system, you know, breath, movement, sound, relaxing ourselves, knowing that we can, you know, we, our yes and our no will be honored in all instances. You know, this is, this is really um, the way that I like to create the space. Um, yeah, so tell me if that answers some of your questions. Um, I'm happy to elaborate more. But the key is that, yes, it's, 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 it's kind of, might sound like, you know, one-sided for me, but I just keep getting flashbacks of this, the experiences that we've had and how loving and, you know, nurturing and family-oriented and, yeah, I mean, definitely, you know, listen to some of the previous testimonies and read some of the testimonies on the website. And, oh, actually, one thing I will say, Lena, anybody that comes on this retreat, check this out. I've got to tell you this. You go to the website. You choose the place. You apply. That doesn't mean you're coming. Then you fill out these uh, simple questions, four beautiful questions. You fill those out. Then you have a Zoom call with me. Okay, live video call. I speak to everybody who comes on the retreat. So we're going to have 30, we have 30 spaces on um, August. We have 26 to 28 in Sicily and South Africa. We haven't fixed the venue yet, but we're looking at around 28 to 30. Every single being I speak to on a Zoom. Yeah. You get to meet me. We get to share. From that place, if you're a yes, if you're in, right, you contribute the cost share. And then you have a questionnaire. That questionnaire you fill out, I get to know you more through that questionnaire. I read all the questionnaires, right? Then from knowing each other on that questionnaire, knowing what you're working with, and I get to really navigate with the group through the journey. It's phenomenal, right? And then one month before your journey, you start a pre-program online, okay? In our, in our community, on our community um, platform. That already starts priming you for your experience. Literally, from the Zoom call on, you're on the naked journey, right? And then from there, boom, you're coming into a, a container that's already started, right? We're already on this journey, all of us together. And then, boom, we drop in, and then we go to the, we go to the next space, yeah? So, yeah, tell me how that lands for you. But um, yeah, there's, you know, all these points that, that I really, am, you know, I'm passionate about, they all set a phenomenal foundation in my experience. But again, you know, I don't want to sound biased. Others would have to uh, uh, share that for you. Yes, yeah, so we're coming up to the end. Tell me, Lena, does that answer your question, love? And anybody else has a question? 
Thank you, Constanza. Constanza's giving you a little summary here. Look, there you go. Consent, boundaries, safety, no pressure, bonding, family, feeling, acceptance, love, kindness, fun, playfulness, connection. Love this. <laughs> She's just here, look, right now. I'm paying her, yeah? She's over there, look, laughing in the corner. Look at her, laughing over there. Look, doing, doing, uh, doing these messages. Uh, Constanza will be in Portugal. Come over. Come over quickly. Put you on the spot now. The Gaia, who you just saw earlier, he will be in Sicily. This is Constanza. Namaste. <laughs> namaste. Namaste. Namaste or, in Portugal. Or Namasco. Namaste. Anyway, there you go. This is Constanza. She's going to be joining in Portugal with us, with Angelina. And we're going to have Eric there, who's been part of the community for a very long time. We've got Corinna coming back with Simone, my beautiful friend from Malta. Corinna, who's been the chef and the videographer for many of the naked retreats mm. and from Sacred Food. So, yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's going to be awesome. Come. Come. Join. Play. Play. Mm. All right, love. Thank you. That's your hello. Shall you want to say anything else? Okay, bye. No, we'd no? love to have you all here and to experience this. Yeah, nakedness. And it's, and it's going to be your first time. My first time so, doing this retreat. Yeah, yes. and, and, and Constanza and Angelina, they're going to be offering something, but they're going to drop into the journey so they have the experience themselves first. Mm -hmm. And then from there, moving on. So it's, it's really about us all doing, you know, going through the process. I, I go on the journey, you go on the journey, the facilitators go on the journey. We all, we all journey together from a place of equality not from hierarchy. We're not playing hierarchy. We're not evolving as a human species if we continue with the, with the um, hierarchy in the way that it has been, you know? There are certain hierarchical uh, structures that work, you know? Some people have a hierarchy of competence, for example, you know, but I'm talking, you know, guru, you're learning something and you're that, no. We're that's, all in the same line. We're all on the same, we're all, on, we're all playing in the same circle. <sighs> There you go. Message from Lena. Sounds like a beautiful, slow dropping. Thank you so much. Mm. Yes. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you all for ciao. tuning in. Ciao, ciao. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you, Gaia, for dropping in. Thank you for your support. And if this has been inspiring to you, please, you know, pay the love forward. Very quickly, last piece, because you know I get excited. So this retreat is in alignment to the best that I can of the gift culture. And the gift culture means I work out the amount for the retreat center based on the chef costs, some real basic expenses and the cost of the accommodation, okay? So at the moment, the space that I have in Portugal is 75 euros per person per night. And then on top of that, we've got the food costs which are coming in at around 20, 21, I believe, all these figures are fully transparent. And then I've literally, for this retreat, because they, they're quite a, a high cost of the retreat center space, I put around 1,500 uh, euros for expenses and 1,000 euros for myself. So I've done the cost share as low as I can. And just think about this, right? I'm going in full gift. This is so, it's so phenomenal. People think I'm crazy. They're like, you can't do this. It's crazy, you should just put a fixed price. I'm going in full gift, yeah? And all the facilitators, they're showing up in the spirit of the gift. And then we, we share the experience together. And at the end of the experience, what your heart wants to give, you give. You give it forward, you pay it forward. And that comes to us, and then we're able to continue sharing the love forward. So it's a real, yeah, it's, it's, it's a real, it's a, it's a different way of doing things. So this is why we also have the call. We talk about this in the beginning. It's a, it's a call into real uh, giving, real sovereignty, and, and real, real power of community. Yeah. So I'll leave you there. Thank you so much, everyone. Mwah. Sending you love. There will be more of these lives, and I'm going to also be doing the Instagram lives with the facilitators that are joining, and so you'll get to feel that as well. And maybe... I don't know who's out there. Maybe someone listening to this is going to be on this journey. 
And if so, I look forward to meeting you very soon. Ciao.